You ever wonder why people from Ohio just seem like aggressive and mean and just angry human beings? Well, I'll be glad to shed some light on that subject. I'll tell you why. There's only one answer. There's only one explanation, my friends, and that is the weather. Oh yeah, it's the weather. Up north, you guys got it made. It's cold and then it's kind of cold. Down in uh, Alabama and Florida and Georgia, it's hot as hell. Or it's just a little hot. Not in Ohio. In Ohio, it's hot as shit. In Ohio, it's cold and it is cold as hell. In Ohio, when it rains, it don't stop for weeks. And I'll be honest with you, I feel bad. I really do. I feel bad for the weathermen that live in Ohio. They can't get a car loan. They can't get a girlfriend. Nothing. Because don't nobody trust them sons of bitches. They get, on, they, they get on your TV talking about, well, this morning, it's going to be a high of 86 with some strong winds. Later this afternoon, we're going to have some rain, and I mean a lot of it, okay? Later on after the rain, it's going to get hot again, high of 107 with humidity of the devil's dick. Later on tonight, it's going to drop down to 32 degrees with a slight chance of snow flurries. You know, if you had to go through that shit, you'd be pissed off all the time, too. I seen old boy across the street. My neighbor came out for work this morning. My man had on some shorts, a coat, snow boots, sunglasses, and he was carrying an umbrella and some sunblock. We don't know what the hell's going on around here. We don't know what to expect. And you gotta love the out-of-towners. You gotta love the out-of-towners. I seen old boy come. He was talking to an old girl, crazy-ass Ohio girl, talking about, yeah, you, uh, you gotta love the weather around here. You know, it's nice. I could get used to this. She was like, this morning, when I left for work, I was wearing a coat. You hear me? By 1 p.m., my tits were chafing. Okay? Have your tits ever chafed before? It's crazy around here. It really is. And for all you people that just moved to Ohio, first of all, first of all, who moves to Ohio? Who moves to Ohio? All the people in Ohio are trying to get the hell out of here, and you guys are moving to Ohio? Who does that? But, you know, your first week, first week or two, it's not going to seem that bad. Hey, a little cold, a little hot, you know, I, I, I can adapt. But you can't. You can't adapt. You can't predict. You can't get used to this shit. It's unpredictable. Six months down the road, you're going to be telling your wife, Honey, it's pouring rain, okay? The sun is shining. I, I just don't understand it. It was snowing on Easter, and I got a damn suntan on Christmas. Honey, I'm scared we got to get the hell out of Ohio. Might as well just stop putting temperatures on the news when it comes to the weather. You might, might as well just tell us what state it's going to be like, all right? Just give it to me straight. Monday, it's going to be like Florida, all right? Tuesday, it's going to be like Alaska. Wednesday, it's going to be like Chicago with a chance of South America. Boom, give it to me straight. They say people from Ohio are bipolar. I mean, what do you expect? The sun comes out, it's all nice, you get all happy, then it starts raining. The rain goes away, it gets sunny again, next thing you know it's snowing and it's cold. Of course you're going to be bipolar. If you've never been to Ohio and you plan to come visit, which I'm not really sure why you would because there's really nothing here but cornfields, but uh, if you do, the only advice I can give you is bring uh, some sunblock, some sandals, a swimsuit, some snow boots, and a coat. 